I, when the auditions came around, I was like, really? You're going to have Rocky sing? That doesn't seem quite right. Perfect songs with, you know, the perfect, uh, perfect characterizations inside of those moments. Well, it's very important that I did How I Learned What I Learned. You know, August asked me to do that a couple of weeks before he passed on. And, and it, it was uh, probably one of the most daunting and, 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 and intimidating aspects uh, or, or invitations I'd ever received as an artist. But knowing eight years later that I could come around and honor him, that, you know, when words are that good, you want more. I, I still didn't get enough of them. You know, I wish he could have had two, three, four parts of this show. I'm so excited because I immediately saw the layers I think that were possible. Um, my friends Seth Trudetsky and Jack Plotnick wrote such a complex, deep, wonderful character. And my favorite thing about her when I was reading it uh, were her faults. Oh, absolutely. And I loved singing uh, Stevie Wonder's Sign Seal Delivered because uh, my husband, Kenneth Lonergan, um, is a playwright and a huge Sean O'Casey fan. And back when we first met, he was like, one day you should play this part. And I met with Charlotte Moore and she took a chance on me and I dove right in and it was just one of those experiences to just be important to you your whole life. First time I played somebody, right, who's alive. And um, Cynthia and I are now BFFs, we call each other. She emails me all the time. She writes, Dear Me. Um, I sort of feel a little bit like I wrote it too. Mad Men, right? It's like unbelievable. I don't, I'm a tomboy in real life. I've not ever been like this before, but I'm really, I'm, I'm taking to it quite, quite happily. I feel like I've gained a different sort of love and a feeling about the title song because it's the last, well, it's like the second to last song that appears in the play. And um, yeah, it's just taken on like different meaning as the show changes and you know what I mean? As the, as the, the work changes and grows prior to that, it, it changes that song, which is really fun. No, I do have fun with it, but I feel very strange being the one wearing the pretty clothes and having people... I'm a little more of a Carol King myself. <laughs> what an amazing character. What an amazing journey. Um, and here's Stephen Pasquale and Jason Robin Brown, the three of you. Just want to make sure she's saying really nice things. Hey, with both of them standing here. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, but really, we really want to know what that no. is. What is the question? What is, how, how meaningful is Have you started shooting on your husband? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. Not even with that. No. that warm uh, feeling I have for her that I've ever felt doing anything and the most joyous I've ever felt singing. So it's been one gift after another. And maybe was hearing me in his head or something makes it easy, makes it flow more freely. I mean, I'm not trying to put on a suit that doesn't fit. She's been, uh, she's been my primary scene partner, we were saying last night, for almost two years because we did a play before this together. So I don't know what I'm going to do not being able to act opposite Kelly O'Hara. The familiarity of it is... is is um, heartbreaking, and I use that every night. <laughs> you can't even see through my, my viewfinder on stage; it's totally black. It's like a it's like a dummy camera, but but I like it because it would distract me, so I can actually see Kelly in in my real eye. I'm letting out all of the secrets right now, but I'm not. I'm scared of Kelly. I am. I have to admit it. I've um, never said anything. No, I know. But he's just scared because you're so brilliant. Scared. Just, I just don't want to let them down. Uh, I, you he know, conducts I, so great. He conducts. He really, great. and he's so. Nobody loves it more than he does. He yeah, looks like he really he's just it. living it. Great. First of all, it's a great recording. Uh, it's pretty much exactly what you experience at the theater. And so to have those two people singing this score, I'm assured that the show lives on forever. I owe it all to Susan Stroman and her choreography and, um, and her patience and her faith in me. What's unique about the, the, the dance number specifically is that you don't expect it from Cheech. You know, he's a gangster and he's sort of a big brooding guy. But um, if I'm doing my job, I think that I'm trying to imbue it with, uh, with character. You know, we have these amazing rotating guest stars, so I, I get to go to work on Broadway, it seems like, every day. You know, Fantasia is really special. She's very available. There's no barrier between, between, um, between her and the material, or her and, and me as a director choreographer. And Katie Lang was all about the music, and she fell in love with that company. I, I never saw that movie until maybe like two years ago. So so dark and so accurate. Like it's you, you're watching it and you're like, I feel so gross. This is exactly how I felt when I was in high school. Every gay bar on Ninth Avenue, somebody will somebody will come up to me and quote lines, and it's the key to this play is it's uh, it's it's just so human. And when I start the play, I'm holding onto a big secret. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But my objective is that I want this to work. I want it to work out in our family. I want Walter to be a loving husband and father. I want to see he's a proper stage actor. He's the real deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much.